with the San Francisco 49ers not making any splash signings on the offensive line in free agency, does that mean they are going to take offensive line at 31? And if so, are they even going to find anyone who could be an impact that late? Or are all the offensive linemen who are in that elite tier going to be gone? I don't know. I think I have discovered a prospect that fits the mold at pick 31 for the San Francisco 49ers, and he goes by the name Jordan Morgan out of Arizona. So far, I have watched the uh, game he's played against UCLA and Liatu Latu, who is uh, basically coming into this draft as the number one ranked edge rusher. And he also went up against uh, another edge rusher in Murphy, who is going to be drafted as well. And so you get a really good baseline of Jordan Morgan and what he can do. He stands at 6'5", 311 pounds. He is a three-year starter at Arizona. And he moves pretty well, almost a five-flat 40. Uh, he was 5.04. That puts him in the 88th percentile. His 10-yard split was at 1.7, which was in the 89th percentile, and his broad jump was 110, which puts him in the 86th percentile. Now, the only knock from a measurable standpoint that he gets are his arm length at 32 and 7 eighths inch arms, which is in the 18th percentile. But when I look at him and I look at him on tape, he looks like a very similar build and mold to a previous draft crush that I have had in Abe Lucas. And I, I really don't think, and there's a one-inch uh, discrepancy in arm length. I don't really think that's going to be an issue. Uh, all you got to do is turn on the tape, and that will tell you all you need to know. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now, is I put together a cut-up of all these different clips from Jordan Morgan versus Latu versus Murphy in this game against UCLA. And you get a quality baseline evaluation of this guy. And he could be the answer for the San Francisco 49ers at pick 31. And that, that so this is, I think, a great development for me personally, because I wasn't really seeing anyone that I absolutely loved at 31 that I thought was going to be there. So. The fact that now I've gotten into his tape and he's really stood out to me. First thing that jumps off is his baseline pass blocking ability. I know a lot of fans of the 49ers want a pass blocking first offensive tackle, especially on the right side. That has definitely been the biggest um, request by fans throughout the offseason. Um, obviously, the 49ers didn't make any moves in free agency. So it does appear they are turning their sights to the draft. I spoke to almost every top end tackle at the combine. I asked every single one of them if they have met with the San Francisco 49ers and they have, including Jordan Morgan. So let's take a look at why he could be that guy that we are looking for who could be a right tackle and even flip over to left when Trent Williams calls it quits. Let's take a look at what he does on tape and why I am seeing this and why, like last night, I was kind of hyped off this. So let's take a look at this first clip, shall we? So this right away was one of the first clips that got my attention. And one of the reasons is you can see quality, quality vertical set. You can see he doesn't open up the gate too soon. But my key is on that left hand. See how he's got it hanging out right there? That is a bait. And the bait is to get the defensive end for the cross chop. There it is. Complete whiff and latches. And then anchors. This is phenomenal stuff. This is advanced technique to be able to bait into a cross chop, getting the defensive end to get into the cross chop. And then, as you can see, almost folds him because the defensive end wasn't expecting to whiff on that. 
So this is something that's going to pop up over and over again, as this is Latu, the number one rated edge rusher in this draft. As you can see, he does it again. Look for that left hand. See it floating out there? That's bait. He wants you to cross chop. And you see what happens when it misses. It throws the defensive end completely off because they're expecting to win a leverage battle, not be engaged right here. So it messes up their whole timing of their move, and he puts him into the turf. That is your number one rated pass rusher in this incoming draft class, and he just sunned him. And honestly, this happened a lot throughout the game. So when you look at this, this is this is what you want to see, in my opinion, for incoming offensive linemen. You want to see guys who already have the technique to be able to translate to the next level. You can see here him being able to do a wall off here of Latu as well, how easy that was for him. Steps on his teammate's foot, still able to recover, keeps the base, and running back runs right off his hip. Doesn't lose any ground. That's what you want to see. So in this offense, so far of what I've seen is they they do they pass a lot. So there's not a lot of examples of him as a run blocker. But what I like about this is that we've seen Trent do this many times, right? You get the crackdown from the wide receiver and then the tackles out in front. This guy has the movement ability to get out in front and make plays in the secondary. You see it in other plays like screen plays. He has the movement ability. So he's checking all the boxes in what you want to see for an NFL offensive lineman, especially in the Kyle Shanahan scheme. And again, even on this play, you get a little tight end chip on Latu, puts him in a great position, and he's just locked on. This play ended with Latu in the turf. So as you can see, he's been pretty dominant. And this honestly was the game. Like he did this all game. And uh, it's very, very promising for me. You can even see as Latu tries to threaten inside, he's still able to anchor and stop the pass rush. So one of the things that Jordan Morgan has shown on tape is that so far going up against a projected, I would say top 12 pick in this draft is that he could handle him in the run game and he can handle him in pass protection as well. I would say his best attribute so far of what I've seen is pass blocking. But in clips just like that, you see that he has the requisite ability to block as well. Now, you could uh, nitpick the pad level just a little bit. But uh, I think this is a guy who can refine the body a little bit, uh, get stronger and uh, get a little bit more bend, and then we we have a real problem on our hands for opposing defensive ends. If you even look at Latu, watch him clap the hands. Uh, he's like, he knew he, he, he... Not a good play right there. And then here you go again. Latu trying to throw a combination, and Morgan takes takes the, the punch to Latu. Doesn't allow Latu to go for to let the move set up and is able to just ride him out of the pocket. So this is a guy I think that could really, really fit well for the 49ers. And again, we talk about the baiting with the left hand, watch the bait, good kick step. Doesn't bring the feet together. See the bait. You bought it. Goes for the chop says, Nope. And then rides him out. And basically throws him on the ground. So this, again, this guy reminds me a ton of Abraham Lucas, who is the starting right tackle for the Seattle Seahawks and has been a really good player. And again, you can see smooth, not quick to open the hitch. 
puts a dude on his knee. Pretty quality pass blocker. So when you're looking for a guy, and I like this one because one of the things that I haven't really seen is how he counters inside moves. Now, he, that's not a position you want to be in. There where he's his gate is open. And then you get hit, uh, this punch on the back that kind of misses. And then he goes inside, but he's able to recover enough to get enough push. And the ball's out, obviously. But um, even if it was where the quarterback needed to hold on, that push, I think, would have helped clear Latu around the quarterback. So when watching this guy on tape, I was instantly because again you want to watch uh other these guys go up against other NFL prospects and the fact that you have this guy dominate the number 1 ranked edge rusher in this class that instantly kind of puts him up. So I don't I think he's not the uh most agile offensive lineman He's definitely kind of a lumbering, kind of bigger bodied guy. But if you look at what Colton McKibbitt is for the 49ers right now, they're pretty like, you know, Colton moves decently well for his size and for being a for for a right tackle. Um, I don't see any issues with Jordan Morgan, how he moves. He already has the technique down. He's not going to get beat on a cross chop. That's crystal clear from his tape. And so how he fits for the 49ers is, is I, I also talked to him at the combine and I'll put that interview here at the end. Um, but I asked him, would you feel comfortable about, uh, you know, switching over to right tackle? He says he's pr primarily training for left tackle, but he's also trained at right tackle this off season. And if that's where they need him to be, he, he says he can do it. He says he can flip and mirror his technique and do those different types of things. So I think this would be a good option because you don't have to trade up. You could take him at 31. You can see how he acclimates at right tackle in training camp. And you can have a, an open competition with Colton McKivitz at right tackle. And if he plays well enough and shows that he can hold up as a pass blocker at this level, then... I think, you know, through three preseason games, you you could absolutely give him a shot to start if if he outperforms Colton McKivitz. So this is a guy that I really like. Um, uh, first, first impression yesterday, last night, watching this tape. Um, I still got more tape to watch. I want to watch him against Trice at Washington. So that's next up. But first impression, I like it. 31, I love it. And for all the reasons that I've discussed, this looks like a guy who could be a right tackle starter as a rookie and be your future left tackle. Um, and to get him in the room with Trent, that would be that would be phenomenal. Take a listen to what he had to say at the combine right here. Uh, how do you feel? Like you played a lot of left tackle, primarily left tackle at Arizona, right? So, how do you feel about potentially kicking to right tackle? Do you feel comfortable switching your path, like your your stance, your pass set, kind of reversing everything? Would you feel comfortable in that situation? I mean, yeah, I'm not opposed to it. I mean, I've been training for a couple months, um, left side, and then a little bit on the right side. But I mean, if I had to play right, I wouldn't mind it. Absolutely. Um, the 49ers have like this combination of outside zone gap scheme. Do you feel like that would be a natural fit for you? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I love outside zone. I love gap scheme. I mean, outside zone primarily. I mean, being able to open up and get out there and run is it, it, something that I really like. What would it be like to be in the, the same room with Trent Williams? I think about that sometimes. <laughs> it would be really cool. I mean, I talk to some friends and, and they bring it up too. I mean, they asked me the same thing, like, that would be so cool to be with Trent Williams. I mean, you get to learn so much from such a great player, and, and I feel like that's a real beneficial thing from being drafted for the 49ers. Have you, have you met with the 49ers? Yes. Formally? Yeah. Awesome, thank you.